Hey guys, it's your girl Paige here. So let's talk about purging. Let's talk about purging. For some reason, quite a few comments popped up in regards to, to the subject in my last video, and I am more than happy to discuss it and cover the topic, the situation, because those of you who are new to cross-dressing probably have not experienced purging yet, but I think it should be discussed because it's a, it's a rather um, intense topic to cover, and I am more than happy to do that. So, um, like before I begin, here we go. I painted my nails. I've been letting them grow out for like two weeks, and here they are. They're colored. For those of you who have been requesting painted nails, well, here they are. I haven't done this in like almost a year, guys. I haven't had to paint my nails. I think came out okay. They match my lip color. I love this look, so I might do this look again in my next video. Because I really like the way all of this just blends together with my makeup. So I'll probably do this again for my next video coming up. Anyways guys, enough about me. Um, let's discuss purging. So for those of you who are new to cross-dressing and haven't, and haven't um, gone through purging yet, keep in mind that this video is going to be to help you out. And what... What purging is, guys, it's where you feel like, like you're done with cross-dressing. You feel like you want to quit. It could be because of guilt. It could be because you're questioning yourself. It could be because people are telling you to stop. It could be because you feel bad for doing it. But let me just tell you guys that no matter what the reasons are, you should never, ever get rid of your clothes, your makeup, your wigs, whatever you have, don't get rid of anything, guys, because I'm going to go over exactly why and why you shouldn't get rid of anything. So take it for my case and example. Um, when I first purged, it's because it's because um, I was I was going through a time where I started dating somebody, and I kind of felt like like well you know what um I'm, I'm dating this girl so it means that i'm not gonna have you cross-dress anymore because i'm obviously straight i'm straight so i don't need to cross-dress i got a girlfriend blah 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 so that was probably the first time that i did purge because of the fact that i felt like it it was something i didn't need to do anymore simply because i was dating a girl and i felt like like i didn't need it anymore because I had to be masculine, I had to be a man because I had this girlfriend. But to be honest with you guys, um, I didn't have a lot, but I still got rid of some things I had just because I felt like I was done with cross-dressing just because I was dating somebody. Well, dating somebody doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to have to stop because because like it's the simple fact that you're still gonna want to do it even though you are with somebody even if the emotions are running high you really like this person you're still gonna end up cross-dressing again because it's part of you those of us who cross-dress it's because it's part of who we are and it's just us now the second reason why you may want to quit cross-dressing it's because of the fact that it's guilt if you've ever, um, for example, cross-dress, you spend a long, like a lot of hours doing it, but afterwards, when you change out of your clothes, of your wig, your makeup, when you change out of it and you feel guilty for doing it, you're gonna say, you know, you know what, this has to stop, I can't keep doing this, and things related to those kind of feelings. But the guilt is normal, it's very normal guys I went through it as well like like when I first started going all out like this I would feel guilty afterwards because I felt like I was doing something wrong and I got rid of things that I had I got rid of makeup and stuff and because I felt guilty I felt good for like two weeks afterwards I said you know what I got rid of everything I'm not gonna do it again the guilt isn't worth it 
but eventually I did go back to cross-dressing and I had to start all over again. I had to rebuy my makeup, which isn't cheap. You know, makeup adds up, guys. So I had to spend more money on makeup and clothes again. And it was just like a waste. It was a total waste of time and money because I just had to buy everything all over again because of the guilt that I felt when I was first discovering all of this. Now, the third thing that may want to make you purge cross-dressing is because you'll feel like if it's wrong. Some people or some things, or if you read something, it'll make you feel like if you're doing something wrong and people will guilt you, you'll be told that it's not right, you need to stop, people will judge you. So the people's opinions might make you want to stop, you know, dressing because they'll get into your head and you'll tell yourself, you know what, they're right, I'm wrong, I'm the one who's wrong for doing this. So I need to listen to what other people are saying and I have to stop. Well, let me tell you guys that those of them, those are the people who tell you that you're doing something wrong, don't listen to them guys. Everything is wrong to everybody. We all don't agree on the same thing. So for the people trying to tell you and pressure you and push you into quitting just to make you get rid of everything because they think it's going to fix you, fix you, it's not. It's not going to fix anything, so don't feel like you need to stop and get rid of everything you own just because people are pressuring you into doing it. Because I guarantee you guys, they're not going to care anyways. Even after you stop, people are still going to hold it to you that you once did it. So, you know, I wouldn't recommend stopping and getting rid of anything, especially just because you want to please others. Other people's opinions don't matter. Like me, for example, I've never drank or smoked or done anything like that in my whole life. So to me, um, I think doing it is wrong. I think smoking cigarettes is wrong, but at the same time, I'm not gonna go out there and push my beliefs on people. Like if people smoke, that's fine. That's their thing. I do not care. So you see, that's the way it is with people who try to who try to um, tell you that cross-dressing is wrong. They have no say so and you do what you like and others do what they like as well. And that's what it comes down to. Don't quit just because of others. And the fourth thing that I want to say is, is that it can be an emotional roller coaster. So if you're going back and forth in your own mind that it's wrong or right and you just want to stop, don't let that emotional roller coaster um, do anything for your cross-dressing because I promise you guys especially if you're new within your first two to three years to me that's new in cross-dressing and those first two to three years if you're having those emotional struggles that have you confused just just give it time guys think it over think about it don't get rid of anything because if you know that you're a cross-dresser those emotions will run pretty high where you'll be confused in your own mind but don't let it um, don't let it affect you guys keep your stuff don't get rid of anything because eventually when you accept yourself when you accept um, when you accept that you are a cross-dresser you're gonna be glad that you didn't get rid of anything because you're gonna go right back to it as I did so that's what purging is guys it's where you just get rid of everything you own only to have to buy everything because you're because you realize that it makes you happy doing this and don't get rid of anything ever just don't ever get rid of anything save yourself the time the money the trouble and just keep your stuff no matter how difficult things might get so um i hope i've covered this topic very well for you guys um i hope you all can find this information useful i just don't want anybody to have to go through the things that i did so yeah, just, just be happy with yourself, accept who you are, accept your girly side, and just do your thing and don't let anybody tell you differently. So once again, I'm your girl Paige. I love you guys. I'll see you all whenever I can, and I hope you guys have a great week. Bye-bye.